today going to Indianapolis. Got a quick thing to do. Uh, I already been loaded. I'm already driving. I'm doing a nice amount of speed. I only got so much time to get this load there. Guess what? I gotta weigh it because it's heavy. Remember that last video I did about weigh stations? I'm sure I'll pass a couple of open ones today. If not a couple, I will definitely pass one open weigh station today. So, today is the day that we gotta learn how to weigh some shit. Today is the day that if you don't know, you gotta know how to weigh a load. And I'm gonna teach you today. Don't worry, I'm not holding the phone. It's sitting in my lap. It's moving as I move. But uh, I'm gonna go to this scale at a loves, and I'm gonna weigh this load. I'm gonna make sure that we're good. I'm gonna show you how to get it, get it weighed correctly. And then we'll go from there. And then we'll finish this ride off. It's the Indianapolis and back today, baby. Stay tuned. scale and it loves so we can weigh this load you gotta get yourself lined up get yourself lined up for the scale find the scale first there's a scale right there it's a truck on it already let's get ourselves lined up for it on it when they move. You want to put your steers on one pad, your drives on the second pad. So this pad that I'm coming up to, you just saw your own line. But that's where your drives go. Your steers go on this first one. And make sure that the rest of your trailer is on the scale. When you pull up here, and you get to that point, you're most likely in a good spot. See? Steers are here, but then they yellow line. Now we hit the button. First way. First way. And the traction number, please. Zero four eight four. That was zero four eight four. Yes. Yeah, I got you, Rich. You might pull the scale and give us seat as soon as you're ready, please. All right. So once they get your weight, pull them off the scale. Get out of everybody else's way. And go in and pick up your weight ticket. As of right now, until it's subject to well, which is subject to change, scale tickets are twelve dollars. If you only need to weigh it one time, then you're good. If you need to reweigh it, I'm pretty sure the reweigh tickets are two dollars, maybe two fifty. I can't remember. I usually don't reweigh it. I make sure it's good the first time. So we'll park here. We go in and get our ticket, and if our weight's wrong, well, I'll show you the, I'll show you the scale ticket, and then I'll show you how to fix it if it's wrong. All right, so we got our scale ticket back. The weight's definitely wrong. So we gotta fix this. You got your steer axle at the top, drive axles, second number, trailer axles, the third number. The third number is the problem. Steer axles can't be over 12,000 pounds in most states. Drive axles can't be over 34,000 pounds in most states, and your trailer tandems can't be over 34,000 pounds. So we're over on the trailer, all right? So we gotta get that down. We gotta move some of that weight onto the drives. What we have to do, in order to move the weight off of the trailer and onto the drives, you have to make your wheels get closer to the end of the trailer. 
So you'll be pulling forward after you unlock your tandems. And remember, you gotta set your trailer brake to do this. So you gotta pull forward. Now, to figure this out, we already know we have to take 1,840 pounds off of this trailer. We can add that onto the drive axles with no problem and not go over. So, I'm gonna show you how to figure that out. Typically on most trailers, every hole equals about 350 pounds. In order to figure that out, we need to take 1,840 pounds off of the trailer, all right? We'll do the weight, 1,840, divided by how, how much each hole is worth, which is 350. Now this is gonna vary on trailers. Some holes are closer than others. There's two type of trailers to me. There's the, the spaced out holes and then the close holes. I have the trailer with the spaced out holes and I'll show you what the difference is. So we do the weight divided by how much each hole is worth, which will give us about how many holes we need to move it. So five holes should put 1,840 pounds onto our drives. Our steers are far enough away from 12,000 to where we shouldn't go over. After you adjust your weight, most likely you will want to get back on the scale and reweigh it. So we're gonna move this, in my eyes, we're gonna move it six holes. Now, six holes, six times 350, what each hole is, we'll move it 2,100 pounds. Now, our weight is actually 30,360 pounds on the drives. So if we add 2,100 to that, thirty-three sixty. that should put that around about 32,000. Still under 34,000, no problem. Those those steer axles are not going to change by 600 pounds. It's not going to happen. They don't move that much. So, we're going to move this thing six holes instead of the five. And I should be good. That should put us under 34,000 on the trailer and keep us under 34,000 on the drives. Adjust your weight. Come back here. Release your tandem lock all right our pins are in we're gonna remove this six holes so guess what well it doesn't matter which one you mark it from just count six holes and remember which one you're moving we're gonna count from this one right here we'll count from that one so we're gonna go one two three four five six that should be our hole that we that we land that second pin on so guess what i'm gonna mark it all right see that mark i gotta get that pin forward right there now when you move forward it is just about a guess there is another way to do it but i am not going to show you that today i'll say that for another video now, let's go guess our movement forward and see if we can move it. Now, I just moved the wheels. That was a guess on movement. I pulled forward to see if we can get it close enough. Let's say we're moving toward that second pin. That's the first pin. Here's the second one. There's our sixth hole right there. We will mock our arm. All right. We will pull forward until that locks in. When you reway, you get back on the scale and you give them that number. Reway. What's your reway number? One, two, six, four. So now we've moved our trailer six holes. And as you can see, the weight has definitely changed, but 
um, it's a little bit inaccurate on the moving of what I said should move. Like I said, this isn't gonna be perfect. I gave you the roundabout with each hole away. It's usually 350 in my case. Um, if the holes are closer than what I've shown you, what's on my trailer, it's about 250. But with that being said, this is what we got. So we are closer than what we were before. What I'll do is move it one more hole and then we should be good. But one hole should do this. The whole point of this is just to get as close as you can so that you can get as accurate as possible when you wait on your trip and on your trip. That way when you cross that way station, you feel good about yourself because you know you unleash your weights right. You know, nobody can take that away from you. But get as close as you can and then you should be good. Uh, for more content like this, like this video, uh, subscribe to my channel. This is Steve with Dennis. Until the next time on another video, talk to you later. Benji Jackson, huh?